Hi, and welcome to another episode of Dealing TV q and I'm Mike, and I'm here with George, George and <laughs> we're, we're going to take your questions and answer them right here on the show. Uh, if you take and point your internet browser to www.dlinktv.com and fill out the little web form, you can submit a question that we'll answer right here. Exactly. So today we're going to cover uh, a little more router stuff and some more print server stuff. Right. So we covered kind of the basics, now we're going to... Talk a little, get a little bit more further into it. So let's jump in. Uh, Brent in Hampstead, uh, Maryland asks, he says he's looking to upgrade his current router, uh, mainly for the new QoS functionality. And he's narrowed his choices down to three higher end models, the DIR655, the DGL4300, and the DI724GU. And he wants to know which we would suggest for him to use. Right. So I guess the, the main thing would be what his application is, right. what he wants to do with it. Yeah, he's done a good job of narrowing it down to three top-of-the-line models. Um, the DI724GU, <coughs> excuse me there, is focused on a business class. So it's a business class wireless router. It is gigabit. It's based on the same QoS technology that's in the gaming router and won a gob of Editor's Choice Awards. Mike knows the exact number here. 28 so far and still counting. There you go. Actually, I think it's up to 30 now, but good so, router. Obviously, it's been very well reviewed by a wide number of people, <coughs> and it, it works really, really well. So the 724GU took that same technology but focused it towards business. So it's got a built-in print server and some voice over IP enhancement right. for business applications. So it has all the gig ports. It still has the 5 dBi antenna. It, uh, but one of the differences is that the 724GU comes in a metal chassis, right. more you know business-focused you know product. Right. It's not black. It doesn't look. Doesn't say gaming router across yeah, the front. It doesn't which, have the blue LEDs. <laughs> things like that. So moving along to the DGL4300, which is the gaming router. Right. That one, again, it has best-in-class gaming router out there for a couple of years now, winning you know, consistently winning awards. It's all gigabit ports. It's got hardware-based QoS, the Game Fuel technology, right. which has won a ton of awards, and it's set up for very easy configuration for gaming. And so when you go into the configuration, you can do a pull-down menu to select the game you're interested in. You select then, the game, you select the PC from the right. second drop-down list, and it just opens up all the ports for you. It's, right. it's like magic. For things like doing your updates and patching your downloads as well as running servers. Right. And so it's all set up to optimize it for games and make it very easy to use, but it also has the gigabit ports and the QoS for general functionality. And both the, the DGL4300 and the DI724GU are the 108G. Right. So, you know, if you have a matching adapter, you will get that, you know, uh, enhanced speed off of that. There you go. And then moving on to the DIR655, that's the latest technology. It's the latest generation, and here it is right here. Our, our favorite router, of <laughs> course. Uh, this one adds the latest generation QoS, again, still based on the Stream Engine technology. But it takes it, it one step it, further. Right, because it adds Wish, which is the QoS over wireless for streaming multimedia from your router down to like a media player or a laptop. Right. And so, so kind of the way you would break it down is Depending on your application, the DI724GU would be a business class, you know, small business um, router. The DGL4300 would be good for gamers, and the DIR655 would be good for people that are doing like multimedia streaming or gaming, right. you know, uh, type functionalities. And by adding the 802.11 Draft 2.0 and it gives you better range and reach, range and it, and it is, is the awesome. latest and greatest. And so, you know, this is the most future proof of all of them. Right. So. It's you got some choices in there, but you made uh, narrowed down your list yeah. quite nicely. All, so. all three of them are good routers, but depending on your what you want to do with it. Right, and you know, just sort of a general piece of advice. I like the fact that you're looking at the higher end routers. You see a lot of people go and spend thousands of dollars on a computer and maybe a flat screen TV and all that, and then they go off and buy the twenty nine dollar cheapy router and wonder why things don't work the way they want. Right. Yeah, um, you'd spend six hundred dollars on a video card and then twenty nine dollars on your internet connection when when you're doing gaming. <laughs> so, it's all about the yeah. you know speed of your your internet access. Sometimes you do get what you pay for. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. Okay. So let's move on to our next question. Lonnie in Fremont, California, asks. He has the DGL forty three hundred, and a DPR twelve sixty print server, and he wants to know if his wired computers that are connected to the forty three hundred can use the wireless connection to connect to the wireless print server. Right. And in fact, yes, that's exactly what the DPR twelve sixty was designed for. It allows you to basically put your shared printer where you want it as opposed to where the cables will reach. Right. And so you don't have to cram it into what's often a fairly crowded room where your main computer and your router is. You can put it somewhere else in your home so that it's easy to get to from all the different computers. Right. And then they can connect either wired or wirelessly through your router and then get to the print server, which just shows up on your network as a you know, network device. 
So in this in this instance, if you had a wireless uh, you know laptop, you would connect to the router, right. which would talk to the print server. Right, because the router basically puts you on your home network. And right. once you're connected to your home network, one of the things you can do is get to your 1260, your print server. Right. If you had a DNS-323 storage device, you could also get to that. Right. So, so, so cool stuff. yes, absolutely, you can use your wireless router to connect to your wireless print server. It doesn't have to be a direct connect exactly. to the laptop. Well, there you go. Uh, okay, so, and then uh, Michael in Brewster, Massachusetts, uh, asks, how does he get his uh, Mac, uh, which is running OS X, Tiger, right, um, to connect to his DP301U, right. which is a, a small one-port USB print server? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we shortened the question a little bit so it shows up nicer on the screen, but he did go on to say that he can ping the print server. Right. It just, the Mac doesn't see it as a print server. Right, so the the... The print server is on his network. It has an IP address. That's why he can ping it. The problem is, is that the the operating system isn't communicating uh, to the, the <laughs> to the print server. So what you need to do is we're putting a URL on the bottom of the screen here. If you, if you yeah, if you go to this URL here, it'll take you to the Apple website and it'll show you how to install what's called an LPR driver. And an LPR driver, what it does is it uh, it fakes out your computer into thinking that it's talking to a local printer, right. but instead it's it's uh, using a protocol to you know talk over the network to your printer right. to the print server. Itself. Basically, redirect all the the printing goo out to your network instead of directly attached. Right. So and so go to the URL, follow the, that that uh, the step by step installation process for the LPR driver. This uh, you, um, Windows 2000, XP, Vista all have LPR drivers built in. If you're running like Windows 98 or Windows SE, you would have to install an LPR driver uh, to, to get the print servers to work. Uh, there's one should be provided on the disk with the print server. As well as on the support site. Yeah. So there you go. So uh, there you go. That's the, All you need is an LPR driver, and, and you'll be good to go to and use your DP301U. Absolutely. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for routers and printers this week. Um, don't and forget. Yes, don't forget. If you have a question that you would like to have answered here, just point your browser to www.dealingtv.com and fill out the little web form, and we'd be happy to you know, take care of you. And thank you for watching. Thank you.